the design is consists of two major parts. The first part is a fan, a, a coffee cup and a thick book. The fan is clipped to the book to make sure it stands. The coffee cup is attached to the fan to tunnel wind to the second part. The second part is a rotating motor with one bubble, one tape to the rotating part. Um, the motor is rested on, on a bubble foam standing and a water bottle is cut to create a tray for the bubble solution. Um, the fan will blow wind into the rotating motor through the coffee cup. At the same time, the motor rotates the bubble one, attach it um, at a slower speed, bring the bubble solution to the wind. The bubble solution is made of uh, dishwasher solution mixed with, with water with a ratio of uh, 1 to 1. We were unable to use the first motor we purchased because it had to have a signal from the source, such as an Arduino. We ordered this motor from Amazon, and by the time we realized we couldn't use the motor, it was too late to order and it be shipped in time for Fed Day. We had to buy a motor from Radio Shack, but the motor we purchased was much faster than we expected. The motor would splash water all over the table and wouldn't produce bubbles. We constructed a resistor to slow the flow of electricity and slow our motor to a reasonable speed. Also, the tip of the motor was too small to attach multiple bubble wands. We were barely able to glue one bubble wand using excessive amounts of glue and tape. Another challenge was the fan did not tunnel air enough to produce bubbles efficiently. We created a wind tunnel using a coffee cup that would concentrate air enough to blow bubbles. On Fed Day, each member of the group brought the individual parts of the machine and we assembled it there. The setup did not take too long, but while connecting the power source to the motor, there were complications. The resistor we tied to the end of the positive charge wire failed to deliver a continuous electrical current. Since we were running out of time, we decided to scrap the resistor and simply connect the wires to the copper plate directly. However, as we were doing that, the copper plate fell from the motor because it was damaged from the multiple trial runs we did. At this point, we were extremely concerned as the judges were about to evaluate our project. Ultimately, we just jammed the wire straight into the socket and it somehow ended up working. If we did things differently, we would definitely want to purchase a spare motor and probably construct a base platform to tie the machine to. This will make our presentation much more stable and easier to transport to the Fed. There were a few things we had to research in order to have the necessary information to build this machine. First of all, we had to look up the specs and restrictions on what we could and could not do in the competition. For instance, we couldn't just go buy a bubble machine from Walmart and call it a day. Second, we had to construct a base for the motor we purchased to stand on, one that would not burn or melt due to the heat from the motor, so we looked up materials that were cheap and had high melting points. Next, we had to brainstorm about ways to build this machine and came up with a fan and motor design, so we had to investigate through books and other sources what the best choice of a motor would be. Then we had to decide what to make our bubble solution out of and how much water to add to give us optimal size and frequency. Finally, we had to research about electrical circuits and resistors to get the speed and voltage right on our motor to make it spin under control and within the restrictions of the judges. So on a bubble machine a project or any other project to make a time plan ahead of time. This time plan should include how many trials you are going to make. Try to make the minimum of trials to be three trials or more. Even if you succeeded from the second trial, try to keep improving the project with more of trials. You never know what might improve out of these trials. Also, use Google Duct to communicate with your teammates. By Google Duct, each member of the team can upload his schedule and by this method you will avoid the time conflict among the teammates. Never ever sorry, never ever procrastinate by looking at the long period that you have till the deadline of the project. Try to start the project as soon as possible so that you can improve it once at a time.